So we asked you to take a piece of paper and the question was which would hold more? So which has the higher capacity? Folding the paper this way, like this, or folding it this way. And the idea was to fill it with popcorn, okay? So basically the long way, which would be this way, and again, the short way, okay? So who would like to share their findings? So the question is basically asking us to find the volume of a cylinder. So for the tall one, we measured the diameter of the circle on top, and it was seven, seven centimeters. So we divided by two to get the ratio, radius, um, which is three point five centimeters. So we know the formula to find the formula to find a circle area is pi r squared. So what we did was three point one four times three point five, and again times three point five. So that equals 38.5 centi uh, 38 centimeters squared. So final volume, we did a um, circle area times the height. The height was 28 centimeters. So we did 38.5 times 28, which equaled 1,078 uh, centimeters cubed. So we um, changed that into kilograms, which equals 1.78 kilograms of popcorn. And for the second shape, we measured the diameter as the same. Uh, well, the diameter was the same. The diameter was nine centimeters, and then we divided by two, which equals four point five centimeters. And the circle area is pi r square. So three point one four times four point five, and then again times one four point five. So this time the <coughs> the height was twenty one point six. So one so the we got the answer we got was one thousand three hundred thirty four. So we put that into kilograms which equals one point three hundred and thirty four. So we know that the shorter one but the wider one is bigger than the taller one because it holds more. Okay, before you before you take that paper away, I just wanna show you that this right here we were not doing this today, and you'll see that this is a wrong answer. That this little container does not hold a kilogram of popcorn. It's actually a lot less, but that's another lesson for another day, okay? So did any, okay, before, so we were just given a great answer there. So the things that we needed to find were capacity. Capacity. And volume. What do you know about volume in general? Just in general. Formula. Well, you need a formula, okay? Or you can use a formula. What else? Anything else you know about volume? What it is? <coughs> Taha? Um, you use centimeters cubed and you mean measurement. Okay, so centimeters cubed. In this case, it's definitely centimeters cubed. Okay, the area, so the area, but how, do, how can you use the area though? This, that confuses me, but we're doing volume. He said you need the area. How can the area help you get the volume? So that's the base, so if you take the area, multiply, by height, that gives you the volume. So that's what that's why you need the base. In this situation, what shape is the base? Sarah. So, so let's branch out here. It's a <coughs> base is a circle. Now, let's backtrack a bit. Pretend the base was a square. Okay, what information do I need from the base to help me here? What do I need? So we're rewinding a bit. Ilias. 
square. I'm talking about a square. What information, if this was a rectangular prism <coughs> like this, what information would I need? Watch it. So you need length and you need width. And together this gives us the area, right? Area in centimeters squared. Okay? So now in a circle, is there a length and width in a circle? So we have the radius, okay? But there is no length or width, right? But there is there is there a distance that we can go across fully though? Because to me there looks like there could be. You guys are confusing radius. There's another thing that is important here. <coughs> the distance across a circle is called a diameter. Okay? That's what that's called. Now the radius, you guys have mentioned it already through your research, what did you find is the radius? What is the radius? It's from the center of what? Of a circle. Yeah, so this here to here, that part's the radius. Okay? So the radius equals half the diameter. Okay? So knowing the distance across is actually helpful here. Okay? So when you folded up your paper, what did you guys discover when you folded the paper, say, this way? Because we've determined that this is the one with the more volume. What did you realize here doing it this way? Taha. Um, that when you measure the diameter, like if you divide by two, you can get the radius. And in this case, what was the diameter? Was nine? The diameter was nine. Okay. When you found your diameter, how, what did you use to to determine the diameter? How did you determine that? A ruler. A ruler. So you measured it. Okay. And then you found the diameter divided by two. You got your radius. So now. What told you you needed that information? Google. Well, we had to research. You know you needed a formula for this. You know you needed information. Years ago, you didn't know what the area of a square was. Remember, you were counting the squares inside the square, and you were like, oh, wow, that's the answer. And then you discovered that, well, if this is 2 and this is 4, my area is going to be 8 centimeters squared. <coughs> you were given hands-on experience and a formula. Here you were giving the hands-on experience, but now you need the formula. Okay? And what did you find the area of a circle is? Because you needed an area of a square. What is the area of a circle? So the area of a circle is pi, and pi looks like that, pi times I mean, when we're multiplying, we don't use the multiplying signal symbol anymore. Pi r squared. Okay. What do you guys know about this? This symbol pi. What do you know about it? Any in intriguing information about it that you think you should know? Who's saying? Pi equals three point fourteen. Pi equals three equals about three point one four. We round it to two decimal points, but pi goes on and on and on forever when you calculate pi. It never ends. But in this situation, we just take <coughs> 3.14. So area equals 3.14 multiplied by, and what was the radius you said of the shorter object? 4.5. <coughs> and when you square it, what are you doing? In a sense, what does squaring mean? Sorry? Is it multiplying by 2? No. When you square it, what is it? most common mistake in exponents no Miriam Menahel sorry not dividing it by 2 you multiply it by itself that many times so this becomes 3.14 multiplied by 4.5 times
times 4.5. Okay, and you put that in a calculator and your answer was 63 decimal I'm going to use 585 now that you have the area of a circle what is next to wrap this all up Allie okay so how did you find the height in this in this example Okay. Okay, so you measured the other way, basically. Okay. Because in this situation, I didn't give you any measurements. You had to figure that out on your own. What did you find was the height? 21.6. 21.6 centimeters? Okay, so height equals 21.6 centimeters. Then you multiply the height. Height times area of circle, which equals... 21.6 centimeters <coughs> multiplied by 63.585 centimeters and that would give us 21.6 multiplied by 63.585 gives you an answer of approximately 1,373.4 centimeters cubed and then the other one we did the exact same thing the difference was the radius on the other one was three and a half, right? The radius of the shorter one, or the longer one. So when you took 3.14, multiply by 3.5, 3.5, they give you a 38.5 centimeters squared, I believe it was. Could be wrong. Yeah, 38 point, let me get more precise, 38.465. And the height, what was the height on this one now? 28. It was 28. Okay, so height equals 28. So 28 times 38 decimal 4. Was it exactly 28? Let's just say it was. It doesn't matter right now. And you got an answer of approximately 1,077.02 centimeters cubed. So obviously, based on our numbers, this one here is the popcorn package that holds more popcorn. Question for you. You, as a moviegoer, want this one, right? Okay. You, as manager of the movie theater, you're going to still charge $7 for the popcorn. Which one do you give your guests? Do you give this one? <laughs> or do you give this one? What would you say, Tahir? Why do you give the longer one? Well, the longer one and the shorter one, you're going to charge the same price. How many of you, when you saw this, you saw the longer one, how many people felt that this held more? Why do you think, based on appearance, this looks like it holds more. What was your thinking there, Isa? It's longer. Yeah, it's longer and it, it's kind of deceptive. So today we've learned that the wider the object is, it holds more. Last point. When I thought that I thought it was the same because you're using the same paper, it's just different size, but then using the same and more. You know, and that's funny when, when I was proposed this problem too, that I go, it's the same size paper. It should be the same volume, but it's not. And believe me, when you go to stores and marketing, they're definitely going to try and market it to look like this so they can trick you into thinking you're getting more, where in fact, in this situation, you're getting less.